Dan, some performance in front of a full house at Matty Woods Welford Road. Yes, it was. It's been a difficult week. Uh, obviously, a lot's gone on. We came off a tough game against Clermont last week. Um, but credit to the guys and the coaching staff um, and all the supporters and the club. Um, I think we put in a performance today, Gloucester quality side. They brought a physical game and you know it was tough for that first half, especially close and edgy. But second half, I think we were able to um, prevail. We, you know, we were able to take our chances when they came, which wasn't very often. And um, yeah, we had some quality finisher for Ram Watson. Bailed us out a few times. What was said at half time to get the team going? The second half performance was uh, very different from the team that walked out in the first half. Yeah, it was basically like just being more accurate what we do. Like our game plan, I think we stuck to the game plan the first half, but we just made silly errors at times. Uh, we killed ourselves at the breakdown. Gloucester were great at um, getting over the ball and tackling, and we were letting them in there. And I think second half we tightened that up. Didn't give Gloucester as many opportunities at the ball, which was you know getting them all into the game, and that's probably why second half we were able to apply pressure and actually put momentum because we got a breakdown right. We were able to play momentum, and that created opportunities for us to score. A word for the fans: uh, What a turnout on Christmas Eve. Yes. Merry Christmas to all of them. I hope they have a great Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, they were fantastic today. Um, you know, hopefully they enjoyed themselves. They were very vocal, which was nice. And um, yeah, just wish everyone a Merry Christmas. The Slater Cup, uh, this was the first um, <clears throat> inaugural game of it. Uh, talk us a bit through how much it means getting behind the MND Association and for someone who you played alongside with. Uh, now it's quite close to home, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, I think like the rise of it in recent years, um, you know, it's a it's a horrible disease. And I think it affects everyone involved, um, the people and their families. And um, you know, I think a lot's bit of attention has been brought to it. And it's you know, especially the community, um, you know, it needs support, it needs funding, it needs backing. And I think uh, it's great that rugby it, you can bring, as Ed said after the game, it's bringing attention um, to the disease. There's a lot of people out there that are sort of have it and. Um, are not part of the rugby community and haven't got the support that um, you know a lot of the guys in the community have, or the guys rugby players recently have. And um, yeah, it's you know it's a great guy, and uh, if rugby can help him and the community of MND, it's you know it's the least we can do.